for everybody out there that thinks that I'm a meek girl that doesn't know how to ruthlessly um, dissect somebody in an argument or have a fucking war and say something to jab somebody's brain and make them lose their mind is being my age. I know how to have drama. It's just really uncomfortable because I am afraid of saying something very mean that I will not be able to take back. I don't like being put in a situation where I'm gonna say something that I know will hurt somebody and then I have to kind of step back and say, fuck, was that too far? Should I have done that? Why did I do that, etc." So drama and I have had a long history. <laughs> Trust me, I'm gonna go outside and actually just explain myself because it's worth it. I'm gonna take a little time right now to address drama and specific things that have happened. So, E.B., Mr. E.B. and Brandon Hampton, or Hampton Brandon, sorry. Uh, the fighting, the theatrical fighting. What the hell was going on? Was the fight real or fake? Was it scripted drama or was it an authentic expression of some kind of emotion? I don't really know what that was about. I don't know if Brandon and E.B. I don't know why I keep forgetting what his name 100% is. In terms of whether it was real, I would say that it was definitely played up by, to be honest, I think that for Mr. E.B., it was real. He was actually feeling disrespected by Brandon's antics and also by Jim Carrey. In the closet stream, I could feel his energy just dwindling. He was trying to sleep and, you know, just fucking tired of the endless, like, rah, rah, rah. Now, Scuff Jim Carrey was trying to make noises and annoy uh, E.B., Fuck, I keep getting his name wrong. Closet stream, I could tell he was pissed and disappointed that I didn't uh, stand up for him and say anything about how nobody was being respectful and he really seemed to feel like it was an insane human tragedy that the way people were acting was, okay. EB, again, I'm sorry, I don't even, the fucking nicknames. He knows that I, um, could feel the energy of the interaction, but he's never been rude to me or vicious. I did get caught in the middle of their fighting and I was in an awkward position in the closet because I just met both of them. And I'm talking about Brandon and EB, fuck EB, I'm gonna call him EB, EB and Brandon. Because Brandon was being confrontational and intense, but his energy was very tricky and overwhelming for sure. Brandon was very defensive and offensive, I guess, because he throws a bunch of shit out there and never lets you know what's really in his brain and mind. He's never 100% vulnerable, I don't think, ever. He is fully in the experience of the emotional roller coaster of whatever he either half feels or wants to feel or wants to seem like he feels. I have no idea. Brandon is really good at like defense mechanisms though. I still don't know what, I don't have Brandon figured out, nor do I think that I ever will. EB, Mr. EB is very different in terms of his energy and his vibe. He is very reactive though. He really wants respect and he wants to have human interactions, but he needs to get his way always. So when he's disrespected, it's like, you might as well have taken a fucking knife and stabbed somebody in front of him. <laughs> Scuffed Jim Carrey, on the other hand, was simply trying to collude with Brandon because he knew that Brandon was kind of artfully destroying Evie's ability to remain calm. Brandon's self-implosion was a comedy. Brandon is actually, I think, emotional deep down. He must be because his range of expression and his need to hide how he feels. Um, 
says a lot about what it is inside. He's protecting himself, obviously. But, you know, E.B. is more, he's kind of the morally righteous one, I guess. He thinks he's always right. And if anything deviates, he has a meltdown. I don't know his backstory at all, though. But the drama was funny because the way that it just came out of nowhere was, I don't know, it was random and meowy. <sighs> Number one, the closet stream was spectacular, but I had so many fucking things to say. I am actually obsessed with over explaining myself, but I'm trying to be fucking on point and concise and I end up saying nothing. Mr. Scuffy Jim Carrey pissed me off that night, but I was more pissed off by the back story that was going on before and the bullshit. Okay, so everyone has to remember, I went in there without knowing that I was even gonna hang out for longer than an Antifa protest. But I don't know who anybody is. So I walk in there, Brandon and I meet. I, I literally didn't know who he was. I knew who no one other than Paul was. And uh, I knew a few other people by name, but not because I knew them intimately. The drama in the air was very obvious. Brandon was just being a dick to me, but a funny dick. I never felt like he was being sincere. He was being fake. To, I think he was trying to get a reaction, trying to scare me and piss me off, but it didn't work at all. Do you know the truth? I've had my father scream at me and call me so many fucking names that nobody can touch me. So Brandon's like, yeah, yeah, fuck you, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I was like, okay, Brandon, bring it on. But in my head, I'm desensitized to that. So I was intrigued and excited, but fucking terrified. Do you know who hurt my feelings at first? Sam Pepper, actually. I felt very misunderstood and judged by Sam Pepper, but guess what? I understood fully um, later on when I realized how ridiculously leechy puffy um, everybody is at the Poseidon residence. Brandon's drama was not something I knew how to deal with because it was so unpredictable and I was kind of not sure how to talk because it was so loud and he was yelling and citing all this stuff and I kind of just backed off and chilled. Mexican Andy, he better not have fucking blocked me on Twitter by the way, I'm gonna be pissed. Mexican Andy I've been so nice to, so I'm assuming that he's fine with me, but if he's not, I am telling you, that's gonna be really shitty. I was just sitting there with him and he was really happy to see me. To be honest, he was kind of like, I was getting claustrophobic because I had nowhere to sit next to Andy. He wanted me to just sit with him and he wanted me to kind of, I don't know. It was, it was interesting. But again, I felt very just like, oh my God, what's happening? So I was sitting there and then he got eliminated. I think he just hung out because he was doing, you know, I don't know. He, he didn't really seem to care if he won or not. He was just kind of chilling. EB kind of makes himself look like a lunatic though. Let's be honest. He is predictably um, overly aggressive and it's not in an entertaining way. It gets boring and old very fast. But again, he thinks he's morally better than everybody, including me, because he was angry at me, I think, for not defending him. He wanted me to defend him and he wanted me to be like, dude, you're right, you know, kiss his ass. Basically, all hail to him. So fuck that shit. I'm not hailing to anybody. I don't do that. I do not go, yes. Yes, master. Yes, sir. I love you. You're the only person I'll listen to. Oh, no. Someone's here. Except for, obviously, we all hail to the Poseidon. Poseidon. I'm kidding, guys. Oh, so, anyway. While Mr. EBT, or EBZ, I keep getting the name wrong. I'm truly sorry. I'm not meaning it offensively. Was being Mr. Dramatist. Um, I thought he was on steroids, possibly. And I wasn't sure what the fuck to do. But then he and what's his face um, fought. Brandon left, and I was left with fucking Scuffy Puff, EB. It was burning hot. EB was bored and tired, but looking for logic in a closet. It's like, dude, we're sitting in a closet. What do you expect? It's obviously going to be chaos. But Scuff Jim Carrey was acting like a fucking baboon. I really don't know how to... I'm so 
bored by him, but I also feel disgusted by his snake-like tendencies. He really stoops at low levels in order to get some delusion of what he thinks is right. So, Scuff Jim Carrey, what a great name. Um, Scuff Jim Carrey was acting like a clown. He was so drunk that I really didn't know how he planned on standing. He was becoming just bleh. Jim Carrey, I, I sincerely felt bad. I guess he's fucked up and troubled, which is kind of sad, but he was acting creepy as fuck. He was touching me inappropriately when I was not, I was literally asleep. And then he pretended that, that he wasn't asleep, but he was acting like an actual like fucking freak. That's very, very wrong what he was doing. He's a fucking, I don't even know, dude. It's like the fact that he was thinking he, he could actually do that and get away with it. It's creepy. I would run away from him. He would follow me. He tried to make me truly uncomfortable. He pretended to have a phobia. I'm sorry. He pretended to have a fucking stomach flu just to torture me. He also pretended that there was a spider. He tried to fuck with my mind and just ruthlessly go at every, you know, vulnerability. But he wasn't even good at it. So I just don't even know what to say. But he also tried to shame me and humiliate me. And he kind of did a decent job. Then he tried to guilt me. But there was a low level of true drama, I feel like, in the closet. The closet was basically tame, other than him stooping at bizarre, you know, pleas for helping his kid. Then after the closet, um, E.B. was nice, but everyone was kind of boring. I, I actually think that Sam Pepper... I don't know, he's an interesting one. I think I'm just going to analyze everyone. That's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do streams where I put together all the info I know in my mind about people and start rambling out loud about each person and dissecting, you know, a psychological profile on them. <laughs> like an FBI agent. Oh. Sam Peppa, the Aries, is impulsive.